Hi everyone. I wanted to talk to you guys about how to write a literature review because I know you guys will be working on that soon. So to start off, um, I created this document with um, annotations. It's just a journal article from the Journal of Educational Psychology, which is a big journal in my field. And I created some annotations um, for a previous class to just show them different parts of the article. And this might actually help you read journal, journal articles too. So first of all, I want to start off with the front page. Everything you need to cite this article is on this page. So here's almost all the information. You have the journal name, um, the year, the volume and issue number, and the page numbers. There's the title. Here is the address um, for the DOI. So you could either put the DOI number right here or you could put the whole address. Um, I do not need the retrieved from and then uh, IU East um, address. That doesn't help. I can't, um, I can't access it as easy like that anyway. But um, these are good numbers to have. So, and then you have all your authors and this is very helpful for citing. So sometimes you have the information at the bottom too, um, but this particular journal keeps it all right here. So here's the abstract of this article. You won't be writing this until the very end of the, of the paper. So, but notice that it's very short, but it has, I wanted to point this out while I'm here, is that um, there's very few words, but it talks about the whole paper. So it talks about the hypothesis, talks about what you did in the study, and it talks about the findings and um, some conclusions here. Okay, so that's really important. They basically took the entire paper and crunched it down into like 120 to 200 words. Um, that's helpful to know. Uh, please don't write just uh, part of your literature review here. And then they added keywords, which is very important um, for putting it in a database and helping find the article and the relevant keywords. So in the very first paragraph before the literature review actually starts, um, it talks about the problem. So it opens up very broadly. Like there's this huge problem um, that's occurring and basically it talks about a few things here, which you can read this. I can make this available to you. Um, but then at the very end of this paragraph, it talks about the current study, we're going to do this, and we're going to show you this, or we're going to talk about this. So that's important because that's your thesis statement. That's setting it up for the paper, okay? So it starts with a problem, talks a little bit about the literature. They even have a citation here, which you can do, and talks about the current study. And then the literature review actually starts. Um, so this is part of the liter part of the literature review that you'll have to write, but really it's setting it up um, the introduction, okay? So they have a lots of headings within this paper because it's a very long paper compared to what you're going to have, going to, have to write. But um, I encourage you to read through um, several articles to try to see how they write. But notice that these um, researchers, they don't just cite one citation most of the time. They're citing several. Like, here's this claim, here's, these are the um, papers that you need to read in order to um, see that where, where we get this claim. Okay, so that's important because that's synthesis. That's taking all the, all the information found in these and then making a claim based on it. All right, so I suggest that you do that at least once or twice in your paper where you have multiple authors that you're citing with one claim. That kind of shows me that you're critically thinking about it, putting these articles together like a puzzle, okay? And then making this claim based on more than one article. So they're talking about, they're, they chopped it up into headings. You don't have to do this for your paper, but motivated for getting, so they talk about their literature from that. And then they're going to talk about, let's see, what is this? Okay, so I want to talk about this first. Uh, they talk about particular studies in these these last two paragraphs. So um, one issue that I'm finding um, some undergraduates do is that they want to talk about 
have each paragraph be a different citation. You don't necessarily want that. You really want to tell a story, a complete story. You don't just want it to be chopped up into just chunks of information about each study. So that is more of an annotated bibliography. You really want to integrate all these things together to tell a complete story from the beginning of the paper to the end. So they have another heading about um, a different area that they need to talk about. So they talk about motivated forgetting, they talk about common tenets in motivated forgetting. Um, so they're, like you can see they're still citing quite a bit throughout this. And then they talk about motiv motivated forgetting within education. So they're narrowing their information down. So they're trying to, they started broadly with motivated forgetting and now they're too motivated forgetting within education specifically. Okay, so this is leading to their research questions. So they're tying all their ideas together and they basically narrowing, chopping it down, making it, um, making it the reader see how um, all these pieces fit together. But here they're also, um, they're, t they're pointing to the need for research in the field. Okay, so they've started this more specific topic. They're talking about, but the research is lacking because of this. So they're talking about gaps in the literature. So, and why their research is important. Okay, so why is their research especially relevant? Why is this, um, this needed? And they talk about that and then they get down to their research question. Okay, that is the end of their literature review. When they're talking about their research questions, they basically, for you guys, I want you to get to um, your last paragraph of your literature review needs to say the current study. You can make that a heading and that's really helpful. That That's typically what I do. Um, so the current study. And then you say the current study will investigate the relationship or whatever, depending on if you're doing a t-test or if you're doing a correlation between this variable and that variable. So um, you can talk a little bit about study, like um, the following, I always say the following research question and hypothesis were investigated. And then I would state my research question just like they did here. And then underneath I would state the hypothesis. So the research question is more broad. To what extent does this, um, this thing and this thing relate or whatever? And then you say your, basically your hypothesis is the expectation. So I expect these things to be positively correlated. So the question is, how does this relate? But you, based on all this information that you just reported, you expect it to be related this way, right? So, and then that is where you'd stop. So they have several research questions, um, but you only need the one with the one hypothesis. And then that is where it will stop and you'll have your method. So I would suggest that your literature review be about um, two to three full pages and double spaced, but that shouldn't be a problem. I'd suggest if you have um, extra time or you are just motivated to do this, I'm hoping that some people will have a few extra resources because that's going to help you. It's actually going to help you write your paper a little more. I know it sounds like more work, but it gives you more claims. It gives you more things to write about. So I'm only requiring you to do six, but I know in undergrad, I never could do a paper without having at least 10. It was so difficult, but with more resources and good peer reviewed articles, you had more to talk about and you were able to, it, it made a smoother writing process. So I hope this was really helpful. I'll make this available so you guys can look through all these little annotations and see some information that I wrote down. But if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Um, I'm available and I try to respond quickly. Um, it's not always the case, but I do try. So if you have any questions, please let me know. All right. Talk to you later, guys.